Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? Excellent, excellent. It's Wednesday. How was your day? How was your day? Too much work. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. A lot of work, a lot of money. That's good. I like that. I like that. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome, Jocelyn. Welcome. Yancy, welcome Julio Cesar, welcome Maria Elizabeth, welcome Norma Elizabeth, welcome Nubia Morales, welcome Ronald, welcome George, welcome Josia, welcome Thank Alexandra, you, good night. welcome Susanna, good evening, good evening, welcome back. All right, I'm happy to see you guys. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I hope that everybody had an excellent West Wednesday, a very successful and very profitable if you work. If not, I hope that you had an awesome day relaxing. I would like for us to get started and review a little bit about what information we were discussing what information we were talking about, what information we were practicing in the previous class. So in the previous class, uh, we were looking a little bit about, uh, tell me about your family. Do you remember? Yes. All right. So today we're going to do a little review just to connect uh, yesterday's class with today's class. I would like for us to look at section number five point uh, one conversation. Tell me about your family. And we are going to practice the conversation together. I am going to uh, share my screen. And we're going to look at the conversation that we were uh, talking about yesterday as far as the family. And your brother? He's All traveling. Right. There it is. Everybody, please listen and repeat. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, well my sister works for the government. government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, oh what does, what does she, she do? do? I'm not sure. Uh, she's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. She's working on a project right now. Right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. And what about your brother? Your brother. He is a wildlife photographer. He is a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Wow. No, my sister's away. Uh, no, 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 my, my sister's sister away. 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 She's not working in the United States this month. She's, She's not working, working, in, working in, in the United States, 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 States this month. This month. Um, and your brother? And your, and your brother. brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, He's traveling, traveling in the Amazon. Amazon. Okay. So uh, I would like for us to add 
to this conversation. What do you think uh, Rita is going to say next? When she's when he's come back. Ah, okay. When is your brother coming back? All right. And what do you think Sue is going to say? Maybe mm. when uh, he come back, we can. Uh, can I meet her? His. Can I oh, meet? Okay, so you could say uh, he is coming back. He is coming back next week. Maybe when he comes back, we can have lunch together, right? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Let me have two volunteers, two volunteers, me, please. Me. All right, Jocelyn, Julio Cesar. Jocelyn, you are Rita. Julio Cesar, you are Sue. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Tell me about your brother and your sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. What does he she do? I'm not sure. She's working in a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Uh, when is your brother coming back? Uh, he's coming back next week. Uh, maybe we can have lunch uh, together. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Very good, Julio Cesar. Very good, Jocelyn. Uh, good pronunciation. No observations on this one. Uh, Julio Cesar, select somebody. Jocelyn, select somebody. Uh, Maria Elizabeth. Okay. All right. Maria Elizabeth is Rita. Uh, Jenny Carolina. Jenny Carolina is Sue. Okay. Okay. Action. Um, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works of the government. Oh. For the government. For oh. the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wild, well, wildlife photographer. Wildlife, wild. Wild, wildlife. Correct. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. When is your brother coming back? He, he's coming back the next month. Maybe we can have lunch together when he comes back. You can't see that part because of the lines. Uh, I don't see the this part. <laughs> yeah, that's OK. That's OK. All right, good job, good job. Uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to the conversation, questions in regards to the uh, vocabulary in this section? 
No question. Okay. Not sure. That's okay. Right now, what we're going to do is move forward and we're going to look at the family tree. Let's look at the family tree. Right here. This is going to be coming from section number 5.2. We're going to go, we're going to review the vocabulary on section number 5.2. We're going to look at a family tree. Uh, let's look at this section first. Repeat after me, please. Cousin. 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 All right. So pay attention to the pronunciation. I don't okay. say ko u sing, right? I don't say that. I say ka. Cousin. 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 Uh -huh. And cousin is for both sexes, male and female. Cousin is for man and woman, both. Uh, repeat, father. 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 Grandmother. 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 I, I want you to notice that I say grandmother. I don't I don't say I don't say grandmother. I say grandmother. 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 All right. The, the next one. Repeat. Niece. 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 Right. Notice I don't say niece. Right. I don't say that. I say niece. 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 Okay. Uh, the next one is sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Uncle. 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 Notice Uncle. my tongue. My <laughs> tongue is up. Un, 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 with the tongue un, on the top un, uh, un, of my mouth. Un, un, Uncle. 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 Wife. 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 Right. I don't say wife. I say wife. 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 Okay. Uh, do you guys have any questions in regards to the meaning or the pronunciation of this vocabulary? No. 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 No, no teacher. Okay. Uh, what's <clears throat> another word? that describes the family? Aunt. 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 So you can say aunt, or you can say aunt, como hormiga. Aunt. aunt. Some people say aunt, some people say aunt. It's the same thing. All right, what's another one? Mother. Mother, very good. Mother. Another one? Grandfather. Grandfather, very good. What's another one? Brother. 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 Sister. And notice, notice that I don't say bro, brother, right? I don't say brother. I say bra. Brother. 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 Uh -huh. brother. brother. What's another one? Brother in law. Brother in law. Yeah. Brother in law. All right. What's another one? Brother in law. Long. Mother. Mother in 
law, son, Daughter. daughter. Another one. What is the opposite of wife? Husband. 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 Notice the pronunciation. I don't say husband. I say ha. Hus husband. Husband. Ha. Husband. 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 All right. Repeat. Husband. Aunt. 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 Mother. 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 Grandfather. Grandfather. Brother. 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 Brother in law. Brother in law. Mother in law. Mother in law. Mother in law. Son. 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 Daughter. Daughter. Husband. Husband. All right. Teacher. I'm going to, yes. But you can, uh, you can write uh, a stepmother and stepfather. Correct. Stepmother and stepfather is correct. <clears throat> Step. Like to a stepsister and a stepbrother. That's right. Stepmother. Step. Brother, step father, step sister. All right. Any questions in regards to this vocabulary? No. Questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. No. Okay, what I would like for us to do is take a look at this activity and I would like for you to work this activity with your classmates. For this activity, you are going to look at the family tree and identify the relationship with the people. You're going to look at the family tree, look at the picture, and then you are going to identify the relationship between those people. Any questions? No. This is section no. 5.2. We're gonna work in pairs, and then we are going to check as a class. We're gonna work in groups of three. You will have three minutes to work in groups, and then we will check it together. Three minutes. Ready? Let's go. Right, uh, Norma Elizabeth, Jose Enrique, Lucel Bonilla, Nelson Adan, Oscar Rolando, and Sandra Guadalupe. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Jose Enrique, Oscar Rolando, Sandra Guadalupe, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, Jose Enrique, Oscar Rolando, 
Lucel Bonilla, Sandra Guadalupe, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. La séptima es nice. Nice. Sí. Nice. Nice. Nice es como yeah. cuando tú dices, hey, I like that. It's nice. Ah, ok. Ok. Nice. nice se escribe casi igual. Eh, nice es sobrina. Nice. Nice. Mm. nice. In the letter six, uh, oh, the oh, letter, sí. no, 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 I'm sorry. Number five, sister in law. Sister in law. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. uh, teacher, estaba comentando que las cinco y las seis me salieron malas y tengo las mismas respuestas. Ajá, really? igual las cinco me salió mal a mí. Oh, sí. las cinco, ¿qué puso? Sister in law. Sister in law. Y puso los guioncitos. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Ok. Será no. por eso. Sí. Puede, puede ser por los guioncitos. En la número 6 es cousin. Eh, cousin o cousin. Ca 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 cousin, no. Cousin. No. Ca cousin. Ca cousin. Mm -hmm. okay. Mire así como se vea. Pruebe así. Ok. Ajá. No, el. el... Ah. <coughs> Me avisa, compañero, para que... Okay, uh, I think everybody is finished. Um, I was listening to the... To everybody. Okay, let's have the first one. Oscar Rolando, Oscar Rolando, number one. Thank you. Oscar Rolando, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Teacher. Hi. One question. Melanie, hello. How do you say nephew? I'm sorry? How do nephew. you say? Nephew. Nephew, okay. Es la última pregunta. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jim. Kelly is Sam's, and Jim is his nephew. Okay. Repeat. Nephew. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. Nephew. Yes. Nephew. Thank you, Yancy. Uh, Yancy, can you give me the answer for number one? I think Oscar Rolando is working. Yes. Mother. Grandmother. Is Sam's grandfather. And Marta is his grandmother. Excellent. Grandmother. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, Carolina, number two. Chris is Sam's father. Father, perfect. Number three, please, Norma Lizano. Manuel is Sam's uncle. 
Uncle. Excellent. Number four, please. Nubia Morales. Sam is Ma Maria to Yumiko. She's, she's his wife. Very good. She is his wife. Excellent. The next one, number five, Josia. Number five, Josia. Sam has a brother. He's married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's sister in law. Excellent. Sister in law. Law. Excellent. Jocelyn, number six. Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. 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 Good. Cousin. Number seven, Maria Elizabeth. Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's niece. Niece. And Jimmy is his nephew. Kelly is Sam's niece. And Jimmy is his nephew. Okay, good job. Any questions in regards to this vocabulary or questions in regards to this <clears throat> pronunciation? Questions in regards to this Vocabulary or in regards to this pronunciation? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Sorry, uh, what means nephew? A nephew is the opposite of niece. Niece oh, okay. is for okay. the woman, nephew yeah. is for the man. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, good job. Another question. Another question. No. No, no I have any. Anyway. Somebody, somebody, pronunciation, meaning, anybody? Not to check. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and continue with using questions with the present continuous. Ask and answer questions with the present continuous. For example, everybody listen and repeat. What are you doing right now? What are, what you, are, you, what doing are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? You respond, I am learning English. Estoy aprendiendo inglés. I am learning English. Eh, Another question, what is your mom doing right now? Uh, let me have, let me have uh, Oscar Alexander. What is your mom doing right now? She is watching television. Very good. My mom is watching television. TV. Good, good. Okay. Uh, my, mom, my mom is watching TV. No, no, it's okay. You lo dijo bien. She's watching television. That's okay. She is watching television. It's the same thing. Uh, let me have... Uh, yes, yes. My mom is watching TV. She is watching television. That's perfect. Uh, Nelson... Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nelson dijo que está trabajando, ¿verdad? Uh, Norma Elizabeth uh, Callejas, can you talk? Okay. 
Ok. Eh, let me have... Eh, me gustaría que los alumnos que están en el trabajo, que no pueden participar, que levanten la mano, así no los estoy llamando. Levanta la manita así, ¿ve? Así como la hice yo. Ok, thank you, Julio. Thank you, Norma Elizabeth. Ok, thank you, Nelson Adán. Ok, así no los molesto. Eh, let me have... Merin Daniela, what is your father doing right now? I think he's watching TV. I think he is... Vamos a decir otra cosa porque ya decimos watching TV. Eh, vamos a decir... Eh, watching his I... phone. No, vamos a decir que está en el parque caminando. I think he is in he I think I think he is walking running in the park. In the park. Walking in the park. Oh, you can say I think I think he is running in the park. Okay, good. Uh, let me have uh, uh, Sylvia Lisette. What is your sister doing right now? Um, she's um watching her cell phone ah okay uh, she is she is watching her oh uh, pero ya dijimos eso uh, watching tv vamos a decir otro verbo uh, vamos a decir que está ejercitándose en el gym she is Exercising in the gym. Thank you. Uh, Ronald Roberto, what is your brother doing right now? She is in his bed ready to elite. Uh, she is or, or he, he is? He, uh -huh. he is. Uh -huh. Because a brother, he is getting ready. He is getting ready to go to sleep. Okay, so these are a couple of examples of how to ask the present continuous questions. So right now, what I would like for us to do is take a look at the video and look at more examples so that you can, guys can have a, a couple of questions to go by. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Let's listen to the video. Okay. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. 
Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. Okay, esto es muy importante que lo entendamos, se los voy a decir en Spanish. Okay, right here, habitual action. cuando usamos el simple presente, she works, is for habitual actions. ¿Quién me puede decir qué es habitual actions? ¿Qué es eso? Hab Acciones habituales. Yes, yes. For example... ¿Cuál, ¿Qué son tipo de acciones habituales? Comer. Ah, ok. Trabajar. Ok. I eat. Estudiar. I Dormir. work. I study. I sleep. I drink. I drink coffee. I drink Coffee. She sleeps. I drink coffee every morning. Yo tomo café todas las mañanas. Ah, okay. She sleeps. Okay. So these are I exercise. I run. Watch I, TV. I diet. I watch TV. Right. So all of these are habits, habitos, things that you do all the time. So when you use the present continuous, it's not the same thing. The present continuous is for activities right now. Actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. Acciones que están pasando en el momento que está hablando. All right. Do you understand the difference? Yes, teacher. I Hi. have a question. Yes, I do. Uh, Thank when you. we yeah, talk in present continuous, Mm -hmm. We always add ENG. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, imagínese que en este momento usted se está comiendo una hamburguesa. Yo le pregunto, Jocelyn, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Y usted me dice, uh, me estoy comiendo una hamburguesa. I. What? Ah, yo le pregunto, ¿qué estás comiendo? What are you Eating, All right? Imagínese que yo la veo y usted está aquí. Yo le digo, hey, Jocelyn, ¿qué estás comiendo? What are you eating? Y usted me responde, I, I'm eating. I am eating. I am eating hamburger. A hamburger. I am eating a hamburger. Right? There, in that example, es lo que estás haciendo ahorita. Yo le pregunto a Jenny Carolina. Jenny Carolina, ¿qué estás haciendo? What I'm studying. are you doing? Y yo veo que ella está con el lapicero así. Y ella me dice, estoy tomando apuntes. I am taking notes. O digamos que yo veo a, Josí, a Josía... Y Josía está aquí. Y le digo, hey, ¿qué música estás escuchando? 
Yes, Ronald, gracias. Attendance, gracias. Ahorita. Uh, what kind of music are you listening to? ¿Qué tipo de música estás escuchando? Y él me dice, I am listening to rock. Rock and roll. Right? So, cuando estás hablando en el present continuous, lo que estás haciendo ahorita, o lo que está haciendo otra persona, you must use oh. I-N-G. Another okay. question antes de tomar asistencia. Another okay. question before taking the attendance. No. no. Okay. Eh, voy a no. tomar la asistencia. Please say present when I call your name. Recuerden que cuando tomo la asistencia, no estoy viendo esta pantalla donde los puedo ver a ustedes y el chat. Estoy viendo la pantalla de asistencia. So, si usted ve que un compañero escribe allí, yo digo su nombre, por favor me avisa para yo poder tomarle la asistencia. Right. Let me have. Let me have. Alexandra Lisette. Present. Today is the first. Wow, qué rápido se fue enero. Qué rápido se fue enero. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Alexandra Lisette present. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn Yanira. Present. Present. Josia Alexiomar. Present. Okay. Jonathan Josué. Jonathan Josué. Absent. George Alberto Morales. Teacher, Jonathan Josué acaba de escribir en el chat. Ah, ok. Gracias por decirme. Vamos a ver. Present, teacher. Okay, Jonathan Josué, I got you. Eh, ¿Quién dijo present ahorita? Jonathan, creo que... Ah, Jorge Jonathan. Alberto, Morales. Ah, okay, Jorge Alberto, gracias. Jorge Alberto Morales, okay. Jonathan Josué, present. Y George Alberto Morales, present. José Orellana. José Orellana. En el chat okay. acaba de poner el preso. ¿Qué ¿Eh? Quiero ver. Ok, José Enrique Orellana. Ok, got it. Thank you. Present. José Enrique Orellana. Yeah, José Enrique Orellana. Um, can you hear me, Jonathan? Eh, Jonathan Josué. Yes. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Jose Alejandro Herrera. Present, oh, no. present teacher. Present, present. Okay, se me olvidó. Jose Luis Castro. <laughs> ben. Okay. Ah, Jose Luis Castro. Jose Luis Castro. Ah, es la primera vez que falta José Luis. Ok. Ok. Absent. Eh, Julio Alfaro. Presente, teacher. Present. Excellent. Julio Campos. 
Present teacher. Good job. Liz, ah, Lisbeth Hueso, como que escribió en el WhatsApp que está teniendo problemas, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Lisbeth sí. Hueso, ajá, ella es la que está. Ajá, se me desconectó, está desconectado, me saca. Cuando eso pasa, guys, es el internet, right? Es la velocidad del internet. Okay, so ella absent. Eh, Marcela Alejandra. Yo creo que la vi a Marcela Alejandra, pero no escuché que respondió. Marcela Alejandra. Dijo present. Algo así se escuchó. ¿Ah? Sí, sí. Marcela Alejandra. Sí. Ah, ok. Ahí está. Ya la vi. Okay. All right. The next one. María Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Merín Daniela. Present teacher. Good job. Nelson Seron. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Present. Norma Hernandez. Norma Hernandez. Okay, absent. Norma Callejas. Present. Very good. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. Thank you. Nubia Morales. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Very good. Oscar Ramirez. Oscar Ramirez. En el chat acaba de escribir. Okay. Sí. Ah, oh, there it is. Oscar Ramirez. Rolando. Okay. Present. Reina Berrios. Reina Berrios. Reina? No? Okay, absent. Hola, creo que dijo. Oh. Okay. No la veo. Sí, es que bien sabe se le escucha, pero sí se escucha. Reina, reina, reina. No, no me aparece. No, no me aparece. No la veo. No, no está aquí. Si escribe Reina en el chat, me avisan porque no veo su perfil conectado. Ok. Absent. Ronald Torres. Present is here. Excellent. Salvador. Uh, yo creo que la abandono. Nunca llegué. Creo que no ha llegado. Creo. Mm, sí. No, él nunca estuvo presente. Un día estuvo presente. Uno. Un día. Uh -huh. Ah, no, dos días. Ok, absent. Yo creo que él ya no va contigo. Ok. Sandra Ríos. Sandra Ríos. No, absent. Okay. 
Silvia Melara. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Aguilar. Eh, yo creo que Susana estuvo escribiendo en el WhatsApp que tiene problemas, ¿verdad? Susi, ajá, tengo problemas de conexión. Absente. Bastantes ausentes hoy. Yancy Montes. Present. Thank you. Jenny Ardón. Present, teacher. Present, good job. All right. All right, tenemos ausente a Susana, Sandra, Reina, Norma, Lisbeth, José Luis. Yo creo que es la primera vez que faltan bastantes. ¿Qué pasó? Okay, that's it. All right. Let's continue with the exercise. Listen, please. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note. And never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Hey, qué bonito el collar de la teacher. All right. At this moment, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about how to use the close question, yes, no questions in present continuous, WH questions in present continuous. Do you have any questions about this topic? Not too sure, I, I don't have. No. Nobody? Somebody? Anybody? Anybody? No. Oh. Anyone. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do, uh, your homework, because right now we only have a couple of more minutes. Uh, here, here, I want you to write in the, at a post, I want you to write two, two, W, H, questions, and two, Yes, no questions. You're going to write two WH questions and two yes, no questions in the present continuous using present continuous. All right, that's going to be your homework for this exercise. Okay, now we're going to look at families size using quantifiers. ¿Qué es un quantifier? ¿Quién me puede decir qué es un quantifier? What is the meaning of that? Quantifier. I remember that it's like two quantidades or contables. Yes, that is correct. Can you give me an example, please? Uh, for example, how many brothers do you have? And the answer 
could be I have two brothers. Uh, two brothers, that is quantitative. Correct. For example, many, many, right? I say there are many students absent today, right? Hay varios alumnos ausente hoy. What's another quantifier? Uh, use much. I, much. I remember. Much is correct, right? For example, I like much money. <laughs> What's another quantifier? What's another quantifier? How many children do you have? Excellent. Bueno, many, ya lo usamos. How many children do you have? Many. Uh, a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Varios. O muchos. I have a lot. A lot of sugar. Of, okay, okay. I have a lot of children or you can say i like a lot of sugar in my coffee me gusta mucho azúcar en mi café okay so you have never. an idea <laughs> never no no sugar <laughs> no sugar too. okay so we have many much a lot what else? Few. Huh? Few. 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 Okay. Few. Pocos. Uh, I could say. Ah, hay pocas motos metiéndose entre los carros. <laughs> 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 There are few motorcycles between cars, right? Any questions? Okay. Let me share this with you. Okay, let me see. Uh, we're going to listen. We got three more minutes. Teacher. Hi. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo saber en qué contexto usar cada uno de, de, de estos ah, okay. cuantificadores? Okay, uh, if it is countable, si es contable, que se puede contar, you say many. Many. Uh -huh. For example, manzanas. Uh -huh. One apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, five apples, six apples, seven apples. So, si lo puedes contar, usamos many, countable. Eggs, huevos, one egg, two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, five eggs, six eggs. Pupusas, one pupusa, two pupusas, three pupusas, four pupusas. Eh, si no se puede contar, por ejemplo, la arena del mar, you say much sand, el agua en el mar, much water, eh, el humo. Por ejemplo, en USA, eh, it's not possible to count the bread. Ah, much bread, very good, much bread. Correct. No se puede contar. O oh, oh, money, la palabra money es considerada no contable. You say much money. Pero para dólares, you say many 
dollars. ¿Por qué? Porque puedes contar un dólar, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You say many dollars. Pero money, la palabra money, es el concepto de todo el money. So it's, it's uncountable. So you say much money. Eh, electricity. Much electricity. Puedes contar los kilowatts. Many kilowatts. Pero no puedes contar la palabra electricity. Space. El espacio. Much space. Puedes contar habitaciones. One room, two rooms, many rooms. Pero espacio, space, you say much space. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Please continue working in the platform. Have a good night. Good job. Don't be absent, guys. See you on Monday. No, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow we have class. Tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow, 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 okay. Class. Tomorrow. Be sure. Be sure. I have a question. Uh, write me. Write me. Tengo otra clase. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs>